So today a lot of people were asking me how to work with the TI-84 calculator to convert between polar and rectangular and the different ways to get your R value and your angles and whatnot. So let's first review some stuff. So as you can see here, this is a one, a negative one, this is a J and a negative J. Your X axis is the real part and this is the imaginary. So you got your imaginary, your real, and uh, we know this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. And if you were to draw a triangle here, your x-axis, your real part, is a cosine theta. Your y is a sine theta. And your hypotenuse is a 1. So this point here is a 1 all around. Now the equation for that is r is cosine theta plus j sine theta. As you'll know, in quadrant 1, both the real and the imaginary is positive. Once you move over to quadrant two, the real part, as you can see here, imaginary is positive and the real is negative. So you, that's how you know that the real part, and if you keep going on in quadrant three, you have a negative real and a negative imaginary. Quadrant four, you have a negative imaginary and a real positive. So that's how you know that. If you're given an expression and you wanted to decide on, um, uh, let's say you're given 10 plus 6j. Now 10 plus 6j, you'll notice that both the real and the imaginary are positive. So you are expecting, before you turn this to polar, you're expecting the angle to be in the quadrant one between zero and 90. If you were given um, negative 10 plus 5j, um, you'll compare it and you'll see that it will be between 90 degrees and 180 and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Five minus 5j, you know these, this will be in quadrant three between 180 to 270 and so on. So 5 minus 6j, this will be in quadrant 4. Now, how to convert a number like this into um, polar? So to convert this into polar, let me show you some ways you can use this. So essentially, what this means to, to convert it to polar, this is your r. Your r is a magnitude absolute value. So what you can do is actually go under math, go over to number, press on absolute, and you type the expression out. So you type in 10 plus 6 second i. Oh, you don't need that. And there you go. You get your r value. 0.6619. Press second, apps, and here, you can get the same one. So we are in rectangular, we're going to polar and we wanna find the R value. So this is another way you can check this by putting a 10 comma six and you get the same number. Now, how are you gonna find the degrees for this? As I said, since both are positive, you're expecting it to be between zero and 90. With this one here, the mode needs to be in degrees. With this one, you can just type it in and get the same one. So you go second angle, scroll down. Now you're getting the angle. So you type in the same thing. And there you go. Like I said, this is mode dependent. So you get 30.96. That's how you get that. You can do it for the rest of these and confirm uh, another way. Now, if you wanted to go back into from polar to rectangular, you will click second apps. And now you're going for polar to rectangular 
you're finding the X, the real part, and you will type in those numbers that you got above, comma, 30.96. As you can see, you get your 10 back. And then you can do the same again. Press number eight, which is your Y value. 11.6619 comma 30.96 there you go you round that up and you get your imaginary part so those are ways to do that now there is another way to do this you can type out the expression then go to math scroll over to complex since we are already in rectangular, we want polar. And there you go. As you can see, we get the same answer. But again, with this, the mode, it's mode dependent. So you have to be in degrees to get this degrees up here. Otherwise, if you're in radians, you will get it. You will get it in radians. Now, if we wanted to go the other way around, what we would do is go math, complex. Now we want to go to rectangle. As you can see, you get your original rectangular form back. 